You had a Sears Roebuck catalog, you kept out there at the old outhouse. You kept that old Sears Roebuck catalog out there <laughs> for toilet paper. You didn't buy no toilet paper. Mm -hmm. The old Sears Roebuck, they, we kept that old catalog. They sent us one every year or so. And uh, you got through with them, you put them out there in the, t the bath the toilet. <laughs> That's what you used. And I've been farming since I was about six years old, I guess. I stayed out of school to, to run a, a mule planter with a planting cotton. And I, from that, I just kept farming and been farming ever since. First thing I remember about it, uh, picking cotton with a little old cotton sack, <laughs> flour sack, and putting it in it when I was just barely walking good. <laughs> we started off picking cotton then by hand, you know. I loved it. I loved farming. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah. Rather do that than go to school. <laughs> I remember 54 was one of the driest years we've had. We didn't even gather a crop. There wasn't even nothing to gather. That was, that was in 54, I believe. And I believe again in 1960 was a year we didn't grow any, get any, uh, gather any crop. It was dry weather. We just had to, had to depend on God for the rain and the water. You just feel you feel like you just you, you got to get up and try again, and uh, that's all I know how to do is get up and go again. <laughs> uh, it's bad when you don't when you don't gather anything, but uh, you just have those years. It's tough. <laughs> uh, well, I would usually work out with somebody else if I could make a little money that way you know anybody need any help they need the farmers around go help them make a little money yeah once the farmer I think it it gets in your blood and you you always want to do it <laughs>